it's already been a year and some months since I built this PC and I have never cleaned it even once. So today I'm going to show you the cleaning process and the before and after captures. You can also consider this as a PC cleaning guide for beginners. So sit back and relax and just enjoy the video. One of the problems I have or often experience is when I tear down the PC and put them all together again, it will have no monitor signal which could mean a number of things that we need to consider wherein we're going to talk more about it in a bit after we clean the PC and put them all together. There are several things that you need to consider before tearing down your PC for cleaning. Oftentimes when you build everything back again, you'll see this. But there's no need to panic since this is normal and if you're currently experiencing this and you wanted a fix for it then you can check out the video at the top right side corner of your screen. Anyway, let's proceed. So everything is clean now and we're just going to have to put them all together again and hopefully it will work because oftentimes when you remove all the PC parts like this there will be no monitor signal but I'll let you know in a little bit after I put them all together. Now let's build everything back again and make sure that everything is plugged in correctly and let's begin with the CPU. So check the golden triangle on the CPU and align it with the triangle in the CPU socket. We also have the same procedure for Intel and also the new AMD AM5 socket. Number 2. Make sure that the RAM 6 are seated correctly and all the way. You should hear a click like this for assurance that the RAM sticks are seated correctly. Number 3. Make sure to plug the 24-pin PSU cable all the way and not halfway. And if your motherboard has the CPU power, you should place the appropriate PSU cable in it, otherwise your PC will not turn on. Number 4. Plug in your boot drive and make sure that it is seated correctly and screw it accordingly. Same for SSD or HDD drive you have, make sure that the SATA cables are plugged in properly. Number 5. Connect the front panel connectors accordingly. We have a full video guide in this so you can check it out at the top right side corner of your screen. Lastly, open your PCIe lock before placing your GPU back. As soon as the GPU is seated correctly, it will lock itself. Then plug the appropriate PSU cable in it. Again, make sure that it is plugged in all the way and not halfway. So I am done cleaning and we're just going to check if we have uh, plugged in everything. So we have the power and all the USB stuff and we also have the 
dongles for the fairy pearls wireless fairy pearls rather so this is the first time we're going to boot it up and let's check it out uh oh whoops okay uh, at times like this when your PC is not turning on you just don't have to panic because actually I just forgot to like uh, turn these things on let's just put that up and I guess we just have to try it again so let's do this okay <laughs> we're good and let's see if it will just show a display and there we go I guess everything is alright I'm just going to cover this up and I think we are good to go So that's it guys, I hope you learned something today. Don't forget to watch more PC Tricks and Tips videos on your screen and we'll see you in the next one.